Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with a little NBA playoff talk uh, with Cam Ross. Uh, talk Knicks, Pacers, Game 6, series tie, or not tied, 3-2 to two the series is. The Knicks lead the series. This is going into Indiana. You guys are going to hit the like button, share if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel as well. Ring that bell for notifications. You'll never miss any of our free content here at picksandparlays.net. Uh, Cam Ross, Pacers minus 5.5. Totals at 216 and a half. Pacers backs against the wall here. Need to uh, win this game to advance to a game seven here. Where are we going with this one, Cam Ross? Yeah, you know, this has been a super fun series. Um, this has been one of the better series uh, in the playoffs overall. No road team has won a game yet. Um, the Knicks have shown their heart and shown their grit. You know, they have four players, I want to say, OG, Mitchell, uh, Bogdanovich, and Julius Randle, you know, Four guys that are big minute players that aren't in uniform, but uh, they're still grinding it out. They're still finding ways to win. Jalen Brunson's been a madman. Josh Hart is has probably been the best rebounding guard in the league. Um, Indiana's playing well as as well, and like you said, they'll be have their backs against the wall. But um, this is a big game for New York. They have extra days rest. You know, there's a there's an extra day they haven't played mm -hmm. since earlier this week, and uh, I think that actually favors the Knicks. You know, the Knicks have a ton of miles on their guys. But um, the Pacers, specifically Tyrese Halliburton, there's been several times in this series where he hasn't shown up. You know, he's kind of shied away from the moment, and the Knicks aren't. I think the Knicks are going to go for it. I'm going to take the Knicks to cover the number. I think the Pacers should should get the win overall, but I think the Knicks will do enough to keep it close and cover this number. As, uh, like you said, they have a chance to wrap things up, especially with Boston wrapping it up. The Knicks are going to want to get it over with as well. So I'll take the plus. I'll take the points with the Knicks. I was just going to say, that factors into it. I think the Knicks want to get it over with as soon as possible because Celtics are already done and they don't mm -hmm. want to give anybody more rest than they have. So uh, I think they're going to want to get this done. I don't know if they can get this done. Uh, the five and a half is going to be real close for me. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably just going to be on the Pacers, I, I, it, like maybe in a teaser situation. Um or I'll live bet this thing. I don't want to bet them at minus 225 on a money line, but I want to get it in a live bet probably closer to a money line where I'm more comfortable with. For but sure. I, I think this is going to game seven. I think the Pacers are going to get after their ass and uh, the Knicks are going to hold on. As, surprisingly enough, I think there's actually more pressure on the Knicks than the Pacers. If that makes any sense, because they want to get it done with. I don't know. Cam Ross says the Knicks... Uh, I say, I say, I say the Pacers. Uh, promo code L E N N Y 20. That'll save you 20% off your entire purchase. Cam Ross premium plays, best bets, picks and parlays.net. Check that out over there till then. Cam says the Knicks plus the five and a half. Good luck. Unless you're against this ticker.